Hello everyone, today's video is a look at these railway series jigsaw puzzles with impressive depictions of the Scarlowy engines on them. As far as we know, these are the only four jigsaws that were made in this style, and all the artwork comes from Edgar Hodges, who illustrated the famous engines books and the annuals in 1979 and 1980. I've done a review of almost all the famous engine books, and you can find a link to them in the video description. All the boxes have the same design apart from the cover image. There is some fade increase in sellotape marking on my boxes. This is understandable as they are all over 50 years old. This box is probably in the best condition. All had Rev W Audrey and the number of pieces and dimensions of the completed puzzle on both sides. With this face, which is taken from the Renias puzzle. They also have the symbol for World International Publishing Limited with the number 8018. World Publishing International produced many licensed time products for children. The back and the top um, have most of the same details, except there is no World Publishing International logo, but their name appears alongside K and Ward who were the current publishers at the time uh, of the railway series and a Pentos company, which was a holding company. All have been dated as being made in England in 1980. So all seem to have been come out at the same time. The fronts all show what the completed puzzle will look like with the words Rev W Audrey in the recognisable font of the railway series and the number of pieces in the puzzle below. All of them have 80 pieces. The back shows how the bottom of the box would have been taped closed when bought from you. These are the original marks. And you can see where it would have connected. Both ends. Inside, all the puzzles have pieces cut out in the same manner on stiff cardboard. Looking at the covers themselves, they are all uh, reproductions of Railway Series illustrations. Let's take them in consecutive order. Starting with this one from Four Little Engines. Uh, we can see Sir Handel's train being stopped by some escape sheep. Hodges keeps the broken fence uh, and a member of the crew using the irons to herd the animals from the line. That adds a few details. Here, Sanders got his proper Scarlowy Railway buffers and coupling, and a bit of rock work has been added in this corner. Sir Handel also gains more cheerful expression, uh, and Beatrice now has a face. Next, we have two covers uh, from Gallant Old Engine. The first sees Peter Sam losing his funnel. The frozen trees and Peter Sam's shocked face remain. However, the angle is different and Gertrude has a visible face here. There is also a stone wall by the line which isn't present in the original illustration. The next one also seems to be from Gallant Old Engine and it shows Renius at Renius Station. However, there are some differences here such as the station building being visible as well as more of Renius' train. The extended bunker on Renius, a feature seen on Dolgosh, and not often on Renius, just here. Lastly, is this illustration from Duke's Lost Engine, reproduced here. Nancy the cleaner has been added, uh, and she's laughing with the other engines at Duncan, probably as a nod to passengers and polish. It also moves the angle slightly to show some crew, just here, for cutting off the handle. Anyway. I hope you like that very, very brief overview of these jigsaw puzzles. It's taken me quite a while to collect them all, uh, and I'm glad I finally got them. Uh, just one last thing to say, is the clean edited copies uh, I added 
uh, were taken from the wiki, but I believe they were made by Twitter user Sleep Agent, who is the only person I know who also has a complete set. I'll link to their Twitter in the description, and I'll probably get a video of the jigsaw thing put together at some point too. Thanks for watching.